Mm. Oh, good good. How we doing? It is Golems in the Mist in a Warcraft free game of 4v4 RT. Hey, yo man. Yay, let's do the Blood Elf strategy. Let's get off to a good start first. Hmm. No, economy first, economy first. There's no particular build order for this, well there is some sort of build order. Essentially what you want to do, is you want to build... The f uh, what's, it called? What's, what's the guy called? Um, Kelfas. Um, what's his actual name? Blood Mage. Oh yeah, there we go. Blood Mage. Yes. We want the Blood Mage, and we want to flame strike the trees, preferably on this hand side, because it's easier. I don't think... you need probably two flame strikes to get through here. So get a couple of flame strikes down. You can get me another farm. In fact, it's always good to do a scout. So, um, you, no, I'll make the tree guy do it. Just so I know what I'm up against, if I'm going to expect any blade masters or whatnot. But, um, yeah, let's get straight to it. You essentially just need blood mage. You can get footmen and all of that, but it's not really that necessary, unless you're concerned about being harassed and you need some sort of army to deal with. But essentially, what you do is you flame strike down the trees, and then you go and creep the rest. Hey, hey. Howdy doody. What up? I really want to put down a barracks, but at the same time, I do love to play bad. And that involves not doing anything that I should be doing. What have we got? We've got an undead, that's good. That means they're going to have a very slow reaction to whatever it is that I am doing. Don't even need to scout much further, he's probably fiends. And a night elf, Ancient of Wonder, so he's going to take down the trees here himself. That's what the night elves do. It's how they roll. So these guys are hot keyed as my militia guys. We're get an arcane tower up. Blood mage is out. I haven't even got that much wood, so I'm not in a major rush to bring the militia over yet. Oh, yeah. Now, get this just right, otherwise you have to do two. So that covers all the trees that are available. Now, if you step in, you then aggro the first troll that you spot, run back out, and wait for the trolls to bunch up in this spot where you've already flame striked, which will be right about now. So then we do a flame strike, make sure that they're all attacking from this point, and they're going to try and run away, but now they're going to keep fighting because they've just ended up taking damage, so they're going to want to get back up in my grill. They should do. I'm amazed. Now here they come. <laughs> run back out, bring the militia up. The trolls should chase you, and if they don't, then you can essentially go chase them down, because you're going to want your militia anyway to um, eventually expand. So, try and take out the trappers first, because they're the most annoying. Blood Mage can easily tank this damage. Maybe pull back with him now, because you don't want a Blade Master coming up and insta giving anything. But at the same time, you certainly don't want to lose any militia. Because you need these guys to fast build. And the quicker you can get fast building with more units, the better. Right, these guys are almost ready. Now, what you can do if you're really paranoid, is build a farm to block. But uh, that's only if you're really worried. The worst thing is if the Blade Master is already inside. Ha! <laughs> then what are you going to do, eh? Keep building peons because uh, I want a shredder, but at the same time, wood is going to be my bane here. I'm going to need wood. So I will go overboard in peons and then eventually regret it later on once I've got the shredder and too many peons. But uh, for the moment, I regret nothing. So, these guys are just going to help me creep. Just keep using Militia. I mean, like I say, you could get the whole Footman thing going down, but uh, I always try to like playing without using units. Hmm. Strange way to play for a strategy game, but uh, they're eventually going to come down. Let's get one Militia up here to start building uh, farms. Right, and uh, we can get ready to creep even harder. Because I've been spamming out so many militia, I can easily creep the golem spot. I say easily. Easily enough. That's going to be done soon. You can get an arcane tower there and some sort of defense. Right. Now, this guy puts down a farm, so we've got some sort of scout. And then these guys... Oh, what are you doing? 
Right, these guys just basically charge in, and I'm going to banish both of the Berserkers to try and take down the Golem ASAP. I did banish with Shift. So, Shift B, Shift B. Just keep an eye on these guys. If they get bolted, it's really annoying because they could end up getting killed. But it looks like they're going down. Oh. And now, it looks like the trolls are focusing my Blood Mage, which again is good for me to start off with. Because if they go straight into a peasant, they might get a free kill because I can't react that quickly. But now I can pull back and I should be safe to kill this. And that's done. Get one farm there and the rest fall back. Definitely build a lumber mill. And get ready to get a shredder whenever possible. So I'm going to get a footman first. Normally it would be a rifle because I had the blacksmith, but uh, mm, I definitely need that wood and I need that wood fast. So let's get the lumber. Oh, as you can see, I've got so many peons here. What's going on here? Yellow's having his own little uh, battle going on. And you're there. Right, okay. Lots of wood should flow in soon. And keep the footman up. Obviously, tech needs to go as fast as possible, but I want the shredder too. So, um, yes, messy. I'm just going to banish that just to make sure it doesn't die. That's a strange way to help your ally out. He's probably a little confused, unless he's played the game a lot. As to why I banished that. But uh, he wasn't going to die anyway. It was just a precaution. Um, I wonder what to go... Ah, keep the flame strikes. And now I'll get some free experience, because uh, Yellow's going to bail me out a little bit here. Because all I've got is a crappy footman or two. But they can tank the damage. And then rifles are going to pull out as soon as I can get some wood coming in. Decent chunk of it, at least. Got the tech going. Rifles. Happy days. And that's about it. Make sure you got farms. Gotta dot them about the place. And that's yeah. It's all looking good. Take it. And I can do a little on his hero because his hero is faster. Mirror image. I say mirror image. That's not. That's from another game. So we'll use him to scout first, and then follow him afterwards. Now I'm going to have loads of resources, so quite a bit of this is actually going to go to yellow because he's undead, and it's never a bad thing to help your undead ally out, because uh, they're good. Undead's good. Oh, Yeah, we're not going to get much out of it. And you can go scout the rest. Now what we will do here is go back up to here and check for expansions. Night Elf will be here, and something is here. Humans there. He's got a lot of towers. Very precautionary. And I just lost a rifle. No. Okay. Yes, I can give you a bit of gold. I'm surprised this hasn't been taken yet. A little bit slow, considering the Night Elf's already got his, but... Mm, not too big a deal. Now, I am doing the Blood Elf strategy. Well, the, well, yeah, Blood Elf strategy. Which is going to leave me in trouble, because it looks like they've got a lot of units. I'm not a fan of that. Bear with me, but essentially I just want to try and build lots and lots of Blood Elf units. So I'm going to need the Arcane Sanctums ASAP. <laughs> well, at least they're going for my farm. I'm not going to worry too much about that, to be honest. Rather that than them coming into my base. Uh, we want the upgrades. That effect. I know I've got rifles here and I've got footmen, but that's because I have to build something. They've actually got a fairly decent army, so I can't slack off too much there. Get a lot more gold than I ever do in my games. Be very grateful. Where are they going? Oh, they're just doing the middle. They're dominating the middle, basically. Oh, there's another blood off. That's because he did the same strategy as me. Okay, upgrade complete. That's what we wanted to hear. We can upgrade again. Arcane Sanctum. Arcane Sanctum. And a couple of Griffin Averys. Go a bit crazy on the gold spending. Because, uh... Yeah, because I can, pretty much. I don't even care too much about that fiend. I could banish it and then follow it and chase it. But they're all nearby, so we'll just skip that part. And probably try and get into the back. Night Elf expansion isn't going to be easy to kill. Might be better off just forcing a TP and killing whatever acolytes I can. Because I can TP back to my base and hopefully force one of them to TP. They've got a lot. They've certainly got a lot. 
What do you need? Let me at him. Oh look, they're TPing already. Haha. <laughs> Brilliant. Maybe go for the shredder here. Because that's probably gonna hurt him more than anything else. If I can get away with it. Right, uh yep. This is all working along nicely. Get hotkeys going down, make sure that's ticking away. Shredder is down, maybe kill an acolyte or two since he seems to be shoving them at me. Right. And now I kind of out welcome, uh, outstay my welcome, so just get back now with whatever I've got and help out here, because they've only got three armies and another one of them's TPing, so once again they're kind of down in their luck because so many of them are TPing away like mad. Unfortunately, it's only me and Yellow here, so what's this all about? We're not going to last long, but um, anyway, Spellbreakers, Dragon Hawks, get that all ticking along whilst we're getting slaughtered essentially because they have got a way bigger army, but in the long run, as long as we survive this, should be fine for the most part. Okay, get back, because they're not going to be able to do too much. It's only archers. It's any archers. We're fine. Everything is building. So, there's breakers, dragon hawk riders going crazy on it. He's got loads of resources. Pink's still doing okay. Could do with a bit more wood, though. And, yeah, they're having a nice time up here. Look at that. Good army. Uh, d -d Keep those upgrades ticking. I've got another upgrade, but I'm not sure what for. Ooh, cloud. That's what it's for. I can also get Animal War training, which does affect Dragon Hawk Riders. And we'll get a few um, priests to come with this. Okay. Let's move out. I assume Frostworms from you. Yes. If anything, I just feed them at this point. This is the part where I said that I've got too many peons, and I was right. But I wanted to make sure I had enough wood. I hate those situations where I try to gamble and think I'm going to be okay wood-wise, and then I just end up being horrible for wood for such a long time in the game that I just should have freaking built those peons in the first place to get wood. You know? You know what I mean? Keep these... Let's get some sorks ticking. Get on with it. I know what I'm going to try. Although this is going to blow on my cash. But I might do it anyway. If they don't know I'm here, which they will do now. Oh, they're going to team up for this. I want to see if Green's in his base. Which he isn't. So. Now these are tricky. want to get them inside there. Boom! That was pretty devastating. That couldn't have gone much better, in all honesty. If I got that main down, no, maybe I'm expending my luck here. Oh, flame strike! Thank you very much. Spellbreakers on the priest. Put some cloud! No, there's no use for cloud. Honestly, there is no use for cloud. And that didn't do that much damage, actually, so I better get back as soon as I can. <laughs> that didn't do too well at all. I should just quit whilst I'm ahead. I thought that flame strike might actually do a bit more, but apparently, um, no. The priest did quite a good job of healing that all up, so that was rather. Eh. Get another. Now I'm not doing too great for gold, but I'm pretty sure that's hurt him more than it's hurt me. To hell with your blood elves. Right, how are we doing? Yeah. This is uh, not the kind of army I normally roll out with, but... We'll have a go. Oh, Necros, interesting. Ah, child's play. For now. Research Do you see something? Isherado. Ah, child's play. Well, we know Green is already weak and he's rebuilding. We'll see how he's doing rebuilding wise. Ha, ah, perfect. For my people. 
I am here, mortal. For now, my power prepare for the rock. Get on with it. Nice sword, stay in the back. Basically, just cripple him. And even if we do have to back here, which we probably almost definitely will, we're gonna definitely get this uh, gold mine. Hopefully, get this gold mine. Please get this gold mine. Oh my god, you're not gonna get that gold mine. Oh, that is gay. I really wanted that fucking gold mine, as you can tell, and I did not get it. So that's highly disappointing. But um, nevertheless, we still force a TP, and I'm sure my allies are having a much easier time at the top. Especially, they definitely are. I have purple. Someone from the lower ends of the map has actually had to TP up here to help them out. So they're having a much easier time. And I'll be ready to go again in a moment. Yes. I just want to make sure I've got another TP. And yellow's only going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Because he's got the delicious frost worms. And as long as you don't foolishly lose those frost worms. I know he's kept them over there for fairy fire, but he may as well just come. Screw it. They know we're going to go anyway. Yes, those frost worms are good. But we want upgrades on those frost worms, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, yes. Keep going. Keep going. Piss them off. Force them to TP, etc., etc., etc. Look, they keep coming. I want to get this fucking expansion down. I'm not going to get that down, but I did kill pretty much a whole ton of the um, Acolytes. Right. <laughs> That's a lot of TPs. That is a lot of TPs. They must be broke. Do you know what I mean? They spend so... M I mean, I spent my fair share in it, but I'm always forcing at least one to TP. At least one, so I'm getting my money's worth. Just need pure spell breakers to be quite frank with you. I mean, I don't really need dragon hawk riders. I can stop going those. I know I want to get the whole blood elf thing going along, but not necessary. I don't know if they should have this fight. To be honest with you, I think this is a fight which maybe they should back from. Unless they definitely think they can take it, but I'm not there. So, uh, bear that in mind. It looks fairly even on both sides. The bears are going down though. Once they're down, that's the main meat taken care of. And the enemies have still got a good conclave here. Yellow's having to run away most of the time, so it's essentially just frickin' pink left. Not so great. Ugh, why did they do this? Yep, looks pretty screwed to me. By the time I get there, I'm having to fucking run away. Those dragon hawks are going to be absolutely useless. Keep going at this. We have to keep trying. Any good units I can uh, polymorph whilst I'm here? Not particularly. And I've outstayed my welcome again. Just keep going, Spellbreakers. They, they really are going to be the uh, crux of the army here. That's going to counter a lot of what the enemy have. Do you see something? The 
Sprattle bores me. I Help thirst me. for magic. I think we're kind of behind now. They shouldn't have had that fight. And that's basically giving the enemy a chance to get back into the game. Let's probably win the game now. That's pretty devastating. What the hell does Pink keep doing with all of his wood? I've given him so much wood over this game. Get on with it. Do you require a I thirst for magic. Get on with it. Kick down Sharado. Do you require the blood elves is near? I am in Vala. What? Right here. Mountain giant could be interesting. The blood elves await watch and learn. Do you require uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hmm. Well, I might be able to get away with a ninja expand whilst we have a massive battle. I don't I like the idea of going for a main. Because that gives the enemy all the time and oh, fuck's sake. Oh well, fuck it. I guess it's happening. Let's get this game over then. <laughs> I think it's the, the fates have been decided. Unless we get very lucky with how they TP in. I mean, we've had enough time already just to sort of do some damage. Oh, okay, they're all behind us. <laughs> and then they can TP where they like. But let's get all those spellbreakers out. Steal the magic. I can't remember the hotkey for that. C, apparently. So I'm basically taking away their own stasis wards, which are going to work against them, as you can see. Got shit loads of units here, all doing all alive and well. Spell breakers will be though. They're essentially gonna counter so much of what the enemy have. Whilst the rest of my allies are basically losing a lot. I'm trying to stay hidden because I'm taking a lot of damage from my hero, apparently. Uh oh. And that's it. That's all she wrote, pretty much. There you go. This is the way some games go for me. Yeah, what what can I say to that? It's just meh. Meh. Oh well, thanks for watching. This has been Willie. Please subscribe, like, and comment.